guys, hope you're well. Same process as ever, Max on either side. Uh, we will set an embargo partway through for 10.30. See you. Okay. Start with Stuart, please. Pat, you're up against Patrick Vieira this weekend, who obviously started his coaching career here. What do you think his qualities as a manager are? Well, uh, I've not been with, uh, with him, to know exactly in the locker room with him, but uh, with experience as a football player. Uh, apart of that, uh, he was in France, already have a, a big experience, and uh, with Crystal Palace have done a, a really good job. A Saturday night at Selhurst Park, it will be a, a raucous, a lively atmosphere. Do you see that as one of the toughest places to go in the Premier League? Premier League, every game away is difficult, at home as well. But Selhurst uh, Park always have been, yeah, definitely. Crystal Palace always in the previous season, especially at home. We struggle a lot to get results. Just for this weekend, is Phil Foden OK? He was talking about his foot injury. Is yeah, apparently he's OK, yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, it's the first chance we've had to speak to you since the pictures have appeared of Kyle Walker in a bar this week and then the police have, have got involved. What, what do you make of that situation? A private issue. We, we solve it internally, speaking with him. Of course, this is not the place to talk about the private situations. What, what do you feel about place well documented players get filmed and followed everywhere? H have they got to be extra cautious? Because obviously the, the club gets dragged into something like this. Yes, yeah, definitely. Completely different than years ago. Definitely. What advice would you give, especially to younger players? Kyle Walker's they, very they know experienced. It. They know it already. When you open the door at home, you have to know that you will be filmed, whatever you do. It's part of the society. Hi, Pep. Uh, you spoke a bit after the Newcastle game about how this coming week, these next three games, could define your season. Just how, how important is it that you get things right th this week? Yeah, so important. In your question, it was the answer. So important, yeah, definitely. Hi, Pep. Um, how much are you keeping tabs on Jao Cancelo's situation at Bayern Munich? Because he obviously left here, it was a surprise to us because he wanted more first team football, but seemingly he's fallen out of the first team over there as well and he's not mm. getting the same amount of minutes he would have wanted. Jao's player from Bayern Munich. I don't have any comments. But when he left, were you expecting it to be permanently or did you ever foresee that he might come back and has that changed at all? It's Bayern Munich at the end of the season. We will review all the cases. Players are here, the new players, players, loan players. So at the end of the season. I remember you spoke, I think it was around the Tottenham game, about the travel to London and it being exhausting for the players. Um, it was a that day. Yeah. But with the, the six hours to the here to the hotel. That's why I said it. But we didn't lose it against Tottenham for the trip. So we are incredible, well taken care and are privileged with the way we move and everything. But that day, for many reasons, for the traffic, for uh, delaying the train many, many hours, so we were six hours, that was the comment. So. I, just, I just wondered on that point though, you, obviously there's been some snow across the country, a bit of travel disruption. Have you changed your plans or schedule to get down there and, and the way you're going to approach this weekend? No. The team manager organised the trip as usual, so... Mm, mm, we will travel by plane in the early night, the late afternoon, and hopefully we can land safe and go to the hotel. Uh, and just one final one, if I may, um, just because I know that your predecessor, Manuel Pellegrini, was here at the training ground today. I just wondered if you got the opportunity to speak. No, I could not see him, unfortunately. I said to Enzo, come to office, but at the end he was busy in the training, and uh, uh, I could not see him, but we have a good relation, and uh, that's all. Back with the 10-30 team and please go. Come on to start.